Hello, my dear students, and welcome to today's lesson. One, vocabulary, and two, reading part one. Double disaster in Japan. For grade nine, module four, lesson C, students book page 44. Let's get started. In our lesson today, we have two learning objectives. The first one, Recognize some words related to the reading text about double disaster in Japan. The second one, identify the main idea of the reading text about double disaster in Japan. Here we are going to recognize some words related to the reading text. Let's start with the first one. Look at this picture. Damage. And it is a noun, which means physical harm caused to something. For example, there was a lot of damage after the earthquake. Look at the next picture. Flood. And it is a verb, which means to become filled or covered with water. For example, the whole city flooded and we had to leave. Look at this picture. What is the firefighter doing here? Excellent, my students. Put out. And it is a phrasal verb, which means to put an end to a fire. Let's see the example. The firefighters put out the fire in minutes. The next word is break out and it is a phrasal verb which means to start suddenly. For example, a fire broke out in the forest yesterday. Look at these buildings. They collapse and it is a verb which means to fall and break into small parts. For example, when the earthquake hit, the buildings collapsed in a few seconds. What is happening here? Excellent. Shaking. Shake is a verb which means to move something up and down or from side to side. Let's see the example. The ground was shaking for a minute as you see here in the picture. The next word is aftershock and it is a noun which means small earthquake that happens after a bigger one. For example, some aftershocks hit the city after the earthquake. What happened to this man? And also to this man here. They were trapped. And it is an adjective which means being stuck somewhere and not being able to move from there. For example, I was trapped in the lift for 30 minutes. Look at the people here in this picture. They are called authorities. And it is a noun, which means the people responsible for the organization of a city, country, etc. Let's see the example. The local authorities decided to build a new museum in our town. The last word is rescue. And it is a verb, which means to save somebody from a dangerous situation. For example, the firefighters managed to rescue the family from the burning building. Now open your residence book page 44, one vocabulary. Exercise A, listen, read and match the paragraphs with the pictures. As you see here, we have four pictures. Then try to guess the meaning of the words in bold. Here, these words. Check your answers in a dictionary. 
Look at these pictures. What do these pictures show? Excellent, my students. Natural disasters. Like what? Earthquake, tsunami, wildfire, hurricane. Now, pause the video, read the text, then match them with the paragraphs, and you can follow the speaker. Let's start. 4C 1. Vocabulary A. Listen, read, and match the paragraphs with the pictures. Then, try to guess the meaning of the words in bold. Check your answers in a dictionary. A. The tsunami hit a town on the west coast. The huge wave caused serious damage to buildings and roads, and whole areas have flooded with water. B. Firefighters are still trying to put out the wildfire which broke out yesterday morning and is still burning one of the most beautiful forests in the country. You can see the cloud of black smoke from miles away. C. Many buildings collapsed during the earthquake last Friday. The ground was shaking for a whole minute, and there have been lots of aftershocks since then. D. The strong winds and heavy storms destroyed several houses. Many people are now trapped, and the authorities are doing what they can to rescue them. This was a Category 2 hurricane. Now, after reading the four paragraphs, we are going to match them with the pictures. Let's check your answers. Number one. Excellent, my students. It's with B. Wildfire. Number two. Very good, my students. It's with A. Tsunami. Number three. Very good, my students. It's with D. Hurricane. And the last picture, number four, of course, with C. Earthquake. Well done, my students. Let's move to exercise B in the student's book, page 44. Discuss. And this is a pre-reading activity. We are going to answer these three questions before reading the text. Do you remember hearing about any major natural disasters? What happened? And how did you find out about them? Now, pause the video, think, then answer these questions. Okay, my students. This is the text of our lesson today, and here we have some pre-reading questions before reading the text. These are the questions. 1. What is the title of the text? Very good, my students. Double disaster in Japan. It's here. Number 2. What kind of text is it? Excellent, my students. It is an article. Where can you find this type of text? In an art magazine or in a newspaper? Good job, my students. It's an article in a newspaper. Number four. What is the name of the newspaper? Well done, my students. The Daily News. Number five. When was it published? Very good, my students. On Saturday, 12 March 2012. It's here. The last question. Look at these pictures. 
What can you see in the pictures? Very good, my students. Collapsed houses or buildings, destroyed cars, etc. Well done, my students. Here we are going to identify the main idea of the reading text about double disaster in Japan. So open your students book page 44 to read exercise A. Look at the title of the text and the pictures. What do you think happened? Read the text quickly or skim the text and check your answers. Now let's read the text and you can follow the speaker. Let's start. Two. Read. Double disaster in Japan. Earthquake, then tsunami, bring death and destruction to northeast Japan. Yesterday, the fourth largest earthquake since records began hit the northeast coast of Japan. The nine magnitude earthquake occurred at 2.46 p.m. local time, causing serious damage and huge loss of human life. Buildings were shaken violently as far away as Tokyo, almost 400 kilometers away, and the quake was even felt in China's capital city, Beijing, over 2,000 kilometers away. In addition, soon after the quake, a powerful tsunami hit the coast, causing even more chaos and destruction. Eyewitnesses are saying that the waves from the tsunami were over 9 meters high at Miyako City and that the water traveled 10 kilometers inland in the Sendai area. The tsunami destroyed entire towns and completely flooded Sendai Airport. There have been tsunami warnings in countries all around the Pacific coast, and in California, USA, people have reported two-meter-high waves. A wave even broke off enormous icebergs from the Salzburger ice shelf in Antarctica, over 13,000 kilometers away. Human tragedy. The Japanese government says that thousands of people are missing, thousands are injured, and that many hundreds of people lost their lives. The number of people made homeless is expected to be in the hundreds of thousands. Rescue teams are doing what they can to help the people who are trapped. However, rescue operations are extremely difficult, especially as there are continuous major aftershocks. The people are terrified. I don't know how we survived. Many houses collapsed, and then, as we were trying to help others, the wave arrived. Let's just hope the aftershocks don't continue, Ryuchi Hosono, a taxi driver and Sendai resident, told us. The whole area is in ruins, said Hiromi Nakajima, a schoolteacher in the town. There's no electricity, no phones. Buildings are on fire. I don't know what to do, where to go. After Effects One of the main worries at the moment is the state of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. There are reports that the earthquake damaged the plant and experts are worried there could be a huge nuclear disaster. There are also fears that a fire which was caused by the quake at a gas storage facility in Chiba could spread out of control. After reading the text, we are going to answer this question to get the main idea. What do you think happened? Now pause the video, then answer. Now let's check your answers. Excellent, my students. The main idea is an earthquake followed by a tsunami hit the northeast coast of Japan. Good job, my students. Let's move to the workbook, page 42. 4C, exercise A. Complete the news bulletins below with the words or phrases in the box. Now let's do the first one as an example. Excellent, my students. A hurricane hit the New York City yesterday. Now, pause the video, then complete. Now, let's check your answers. 
Good job, my students. This is exercise B in the workbook, page 42. Match the words with the definitions. Here we have 10 words and here 10 definitions. We are going to match these words with these definitions. Let's do the first one as an example. Tsunami. What does it mean? Very good, my students. It's with D. A very large wave usually caused by an underwater earthquake. Now, pause the video, then match. Now, let's check your answers. Wonderful, my students. Thank you for watching and goodbye.